Wow. Are you ready? Yo YouTube, what's up? It's Triple P. How you guys doing? I'm at Rockstall Nature Preserve looking for five geocaches that involve hiking. Let's go see how many of these we can track down. Here we go. And we are back and ready to go. Awesome. My last weekend adventure was in the rain. So this day is sunny. It's beautiful. It's early March. And um, it's going to be a great spot. I've never been to this area before, but it looks awesome because it's naturey and involves hiking and geocaching. So it's a win, win, win for me. And it's a loop trail. It all goes back to right where we're right here at this meeting spot. All right, we're close. We're about 20 feet away from the spot. Let's go see if we can track it down. This hollow stump here looks promising. Let's see if it's in here. Whoa. And yes. Boom. One for one. Geocache. Number one in the books. Let's see what's inside of it, shall we? Okay, got the container open. We have log sheet, whoops. Log sheet. We have, oh, somebody left a travel bug in this little guy. Awesome, I'll take that with me. You know what, at least there's no business cards in this cache. That's pretty good. So my buddy DR, JD Smith and I, we, um, we went out this morning looking for a geocache that had no finds since 2015. And um, we got there, we walked out, it was about a mile walk, and we looked for almost an hour to try and find that geocache. And we were unsuccessful in finding it, which stinks. Down the trail, what a beautiful early spring, late winter day. I'm so glad to be here. Hopefully everybody's doing just dandy. Across the bridge we go. 69 feet, 61, let's see here. 50, 47, up the hill. 23, into the thorns, 18, 15 found this spot here and I dug in there a little bit but there's no geocache and I also tried maybe looking up here but there's nothing up there either the quest continues well the hand in the cache says it's a bait at the base of the tree but I went back and read some of the logs and there's a coordinate issue coordinates are not good I've explored about I don't know 50 to 80 feet off from the general posted coordinates and I still haven't found it. So it's just trying to, time to move on. Half an hour of frivolous searching for nothing. Okay, well, we try our next one. I guess the new goal for this area will be four out of five. We got three caches left. I found one at this one. Ooh, it's muddy today. That's all right, we can deal with mud. As long as I don't go sliding into the creek here, I'll be just fine. Whoa, Whoa. 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 All right. I believe, and I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the last three caches on this little video I'm doing here are regular size containers so fingers crossed we find all three and walk away with four out of five finds or 80% which is still pretty good hey this is pretty neat a waterfall Got some ice on the other side. All right. I love when you're hiking and you find a hidden gem that you didn't know about. 
Whoa, buddy, we are headed into a gorge. Wow. <gasps> There's another waterfall over there. Yes. All right. Here's the chill here, but I'm interested in these beautiful overlooks. Oh man, look at that, that's amazing. Wow. Well, we hit an uphill section, so we're going up the hill here, and it's tiring. But, hopefully my cardio will kick in. I've been working out in the mornings, trying to get into good hiking shape for my Grand Canyon hike in October. 40 feet to go. It'll be up on the channel. Let's find the cash. I got it. I found it. Boy, the coordinates are off on this one too. I guess these are all Pringle containers. All right, so I went to open the container and there's another travel bug in here. So we're gonna take that. The only thing else in here is some like yellow thing and yeah, some water. That's really about it. It's kind of gross if you ask me. But I picked up two travel bugs so far. You know what? I cannot believe that footage that I saw down at the gorge. What a fantastic spot to just go and visit. Who knew this place had that scenic vista? Because I certainly didn't. And that alone redeems my DNF that I didn't find from earlier. It makes it worth it for a nature lover such as myself. We have this cache and one more to go to get our 80% goal. Four out of five. Closing in on ground zero. Is it back here? Feet. Oh my gosh, I was changing my coat out of my coat because it's getting hot and I'm like right here at this tree and it's got all these holes in it and the hint says look for a Swiss cheese tree. Then I went in here and dug around right there, still didn't find it and I was looking right at it the whole time. Look at this hiding spot right here. Look at that. That is a crafty, crafty little hide. That is an evil little bison tube. And then there was one. So here's a pet peeve of mine. As a geocacher, I like the information that I get to be the most up-to-date and accurate as possible, which is why I typically will post alternative coordinates for any geocache that is more than 20 feet off. So second thing I do is I try and remind people to update their cache page. Their search, you know, mentality changes based on what you're looking for. Oh, a regular, easy, bigger size container, a micro, harder, more thorough search. We got about 150 to go. We're at ground zero. I found a clue right over here. And I see something sticking out. So I think this is probably it. Yes! Hey, there's one ammo box! Signature pose. How about that? Let's see what's inside of it. The box open. Let's take a look. And we have the log sheet. And that's really about it. 
no trouble bugging this one. All right, guys, the waterfall right back here is right where I'm gonna wrap up this adventure video. If you're not a geocaching with Triple P subscriber yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can help me reach my sub goal of 120 subs. I'll see you guys out on the trail. Have a good one.